All right, you guys, so wet line extreme gel with texture ID wash and go. So first of what you see me doing here, well, let me back up. I've already cleansed my hair. I also did a deep conditioner, but I felt like the deep conditioner was more of a treatment. So what you see me doing here is going back in with Suave's coconut conditioner to ensure that my hair is properly detangled. Next up, you're going to see me with the texture ID styler. Now, you guys, I have used this product several times. Um, I find for me personally that it's best as a leave-in conditioner. Now, you will see me be a little bit heavy-handed here towards the back, but I won't be so much um, as I continue applying it throughout my hair. Yeah, I know people who, you know, like it as a styler and leave-in conditioner, but for me personally, leave-in. Next up, we have the Extreme Wet Line Gel. This is one of my favorite products so far. Um, it provides great hold without the flaky buildup. Um... And the crunchiness of an alcohol-based gel, I should say. So I'm not using as much because I don't want to have any type of residue. I have used this combination before on my son's hair, and it was just okay. And I have used a wet line... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing any shingling. That's why I'm surprised here. But I will start to shingle my hair, by the way. So this is what my hair looks like out of the shower. I shingled some areas. Yeah. And um, <laughs> there was a reason why I didn't want to use a wash, do a wash and go using those two products. I'm just take a blow dryer to it. I, well, let me just say this. This is my least favorite result I've gotten directly out of a shower with a wash and go. Out of any combination of products. Out of any type of gels. So I'm not sure what the hype is. Keep in mind I have a lot of density. I have multiple textures. And yeah. Let's keep it going girl. Yeah. All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to take the blow dryer to my hair. Now, disclaimer, you will see me do some crazy shaking, head jumping here. All I'm trying to do is loosen up the curls. Um, I avoid touching my hair as much as possible to minimize frizz. And so I flip my hair over, backwards, sideways, and I probably use the blow dryer for about 15 minutes. And I allow my hair to air dry. Typically, it dries within two days, but because we were outside, the same day it started to dry almost about 75 percent um and then i had to take a blow dryer the very next day also all right so what i like to do what i, I have to do it's going to air dry but it still won't be dry it takes a good full two days for it to fully dry which is by the third day my washing goes are great i have to use a hair clip to get all this out of my face um and then we'll see what it looks like all right you guys so it's the very next day before we get started look at my skin now i have been doing something new with my skin regimen that i am excited to share in a couple more weeks so what i did was place my hair in these mini pineapples using the goody stretchy bands taking my time to release the madness girl so you guys hmm if I could choose a word for this wash and go, um, challenging. It was a challenge. Um, there's this almost, you look at the color of my hair, there's this almost white grayish cast to my hair um, to where it almost seemed like the combination was going to have some residue if I used a lot more, but it didn't. Taking some oil there to help shake up the parts and um again to minimize frizz now one of the things i do you guys is i oftentimes use my little boy look jb as my guinea pig so one of the reasons why i didn't want to use this particular combination is because when i tried it on his hair it wasn't all that great so i was a little bit cautious took a blow dryer to try to stretch out the curls but do you see this yeah i'm gonna have to end up washing my hair in about two more days because it's going to get tangled but Anyway, I love the shape of my hair. I'm going to turn around to the side and towards the back.
told you, you know what? I need to start listening to my gut instincts. So you guys, this is a no for me. Um, not the worst wash and go I've ever gotten, but not the best. The combination just didn't work. And actually my hair is, this is not a wash and go, this is a wash and fro. It's more of an afro textured. Um, it's bomb if this was the look I was going for, but I was going for a traditional, if you want, if, you know, four types can be traditional. Definitely if it doesn't good, look, look good wet, it's probably ain't gonna be all that once it dries. So I wanted to try the combination anyway because I've heard a lot of people that have had great results with it. Um, it's throwing out, like I said, it's getting frizzy, especially in the front, and I'm not even touching it as much as I normally would with a wash ago. Uh, with that being said, I will probably have to wash my hair in about two more days. Okay, pause. This texture is actually perfect for a high puff. So I will come back on the third day and attempt that style. You know, it is what it is. Typically with a wash and go, I can stretch it to five days, six days if I'm being lazy, five or six days. All right, you guys, so much like the first day, my hair is in mini pineapples. Really didn't worry about banding because I will be wearing my hair achieving trying to achieve to do a high puff excuse me so i'm going to be taking a little bit of moisture this is the nothing but curls curl wake up spray i really do like this i purchased this from sally's a while back and i'm going to take a little bit of echo no no, no icy gel clear gel around my edges and towards the back and i'm going to attempt to put all this hell in a high puff okay Kind of struggling here to get all this hair in a high puff and look y'all i don't know about other youtubers but i myself go to youtube for advice on how to style hair i don't claim to know it all i try to find someone with similar texture and density and for me it's shari j and busby so here i am watching a video from busby um she has two or three videos on how to do a high puff so i decided to go with a goodie stretchy band and try to center my hair at one point i'm going to start laughing girl because it, it started to get comical okay and i'm going to use a little bit more water because i'm actually looking looking to shrink my hair, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> lay down my hair and because I need to do my makeup I put on a scarf and a bonnet so I want to show you guys real quick the bronzer I've been using I've been using this for a while actually it's by color trans I believe it's color no city colors timeless beauty I got this off of Amazon less than five bucks I go in between these two colors to give me a nice golden bronze especially for the summertime just look real yummy girl guys so I can work with this I can work with this I'm slowly pulling my hair apart cupping it to try to get the desired look that I want I at first I wanted the puff in the center of my hair up top but I figured it's just too much hair it's gonna fall forward so why fight it so just kind of patting my hair like I said in certain areas and you can see the shrinkage that I got this is what I was looking for um I could probably get away with this style I'm not even going to fake it. <laughs> Probably for another day or two. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Hey, what it is, what you want to know? I done ripped up out of honey shows. You'll be coming back to me. And you'll be coming back.